Hey guys, how are you? This is Jeff and I wanted to make a video, actually two short videos. Uh, the first one about how I meditate because I thought it would be easier in that last video to just state just real quick what I did and just copy and paste, but a video is easy and fun so I'll just do that. And then the second video uh, that I'm going to do is just going to be about why I meditate. And I think that's the most important because then you get to see the benefit. I'm going to you know, relay it to tarot and what the lessons of the tarot say about how important it is to get this stuff down. But anyway, first things first. How Jeff meditates. It's the easiest thing in the world, guys. And you don't have to call it anything. It's not transcendental meditation, whatever the hell that thing is. It's just about quieting down your sword suit, just getting down into that four of swords. I think I have it here because I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in depth. This is what this is. This is how I do it, except I don't lay down. I would strongly suggest just sitting up somewhere comfortably. All right. Oh, we're getting into the cards next video. I love just whipping them up, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I love whipping them up. So you sit there and you take a nice deep breath, an intentioned breath, because what that does is it tells your body that your mind is now in, tr you know, in control because normally you're breathing and you're not thinking about it, but in a well-intentioned breath tells your body that your mind is trying to connect with it so they can open up to this spirit realm, this etheric place where just wonderful things we have access to, okay? So that first deep intentioned breath is most important. And then whenever I first started my practice not so long ago, I found it exceptionally helpful because I had the swords, man, jumping around like frogs in a box. It was ridiculous. I just started humming. I just started humming and that was really, really helpful for me because it's all about staying present in this now moment. The whole idea is to stop thinking, right? So a thought is involving, you know, future, it's about past, but meditation is thinking absolutely presently right now. And so that is, I should say, thinking about now is really actually non-thinking because it's, 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 it's regardless of time. But anyway, that's a whole different conversation. It doesn't even matter. My point is, amongst my commentary, is just hum whenever you're just getting started and you find it difficult in the past. Just humming, just, it can make, you can make it sound however you want, guys. High pitch, low pitch, you can ohm if you want to, to take that typical route. That's totally cool, man. Nobody gives a shit how you do it. It's just important that you do it. And then as you're focusing on that sound, you'll begin to notice that you're focused in this very singular moment where your head has that resonance. Your ears are sort of bringing in that, uh, that tone of your hum. And you'll be able to find a resonant frequency that sort of matches how it sounds right and how it feels right because you get that... Uh, uh, that uh, kinetic sort of feeling as your head's sort of vibrating a little bit. And then very eventually soon after you start, you'll begin to see just little shapes, little things happening beneath your eyes. You can look up a little bit to your third eye behind that window up there and then have access to like colors and shapes. It looks very much to me at least, I'm sure it's different for everybody, but I'll just share since I'm sharing and it's my video, I'll do whatever the hell I want. It looks like that old screensaver, you know what I mean? Like the morphing color thing, that's exactly what mine looks like. So if you can focus actually on all three of those things, you're humming, you're hearing the hum, you're feeling the hum inside your head and any sort of visual and you just stay within that moment throughout the entire exhale of the hum and then as you're inhaling, you sort of remember, you feel what that feels like and hear what that feels like because you're gonna be training yourself that during the inhale, your focus still on the resonance within your head until the next exhale that you get back to humming. And before you know it, five minutes is gonna be over and you're gonna stand up and you're gonna feel a little bit lighter on your feet. It's just the way it works. It's exceptionally cool. I did a lot of this stuff with like biofeedback and it's amazing what happens to your entire, oh, your entire mind, body, spirit, self whenever you meditate just for a few minutes. It's just incredibly calming and we're going to talk about the benefit of it in the next video as far as why I meditate. That one you really, really want to see. All right, so check the next video and once you get into this habit of getting past all of your swords swinging all over the place in this, in this air suit of just trying to calm everything down, then you don't have to do the humming, but I bet you're going to want to do it for a while and then you just focus on I'm a little bit scattered because I just, I just, I'm just so antsy. I'm just dying to get out today. I'm just dying to get out. So excuse my excessive ramble. 
But once you sort of get into that whole thing where you kind of want to try something new and maybe you don't want to bother someone who's sleeping in the other room or whatever the hell it is, then just tune into some sort of sound in the room. Hopefully some sort of boring sound. If you listen to music and waters and stuff like this, I think I have felt, I have experienced that my mind sort of wanders about whatever that song is about, that whole, all those nice channels on Pandora, uh, you know, coming through the cable thing. So nice, uh, just like uh, air conditionings are perfect, um, uh, like heaters are perfect. Um, and especially what I find most helpful after the whole humming period is just to listen for that sort of that ringing in your ears a little bit. That little bit of always that uh, sort of that, you know, kind of when you put the seashell up to your head, that sort of sound, it's always with you. And whenever you put your focus on it, this wonderful intended focus on that sound, whenever you're in a quiet room or there's little kind of stuff going on and you focus right there, that ringing is going to affect you the exact same way. It's just going to give you something to focus on. It's really good. Maybe my ringing is a little bit louder than most because I, I grew up in the 80s with like <laughs> with Bon Jovi and uh, uh, Guns N' Roses. I mean, you know, because of uh, Appetite for Destruction, I still have the ring from that. <laughs> It's like the it's like the echoes of the Big Bang throughout the universe. I but I still have appetite for destruction hanging in my head, man. So I just focus on that. So just give that a shot. And as I commented below, you got to be easy with yourself, guys. Start really low, man. Five minutes, and the next time you know it, in three, four, four, five, six, six consecutive days, you're gonna want more time because when you stand up from it you're gonna feel lighter on the feet. And whenever the next video comes around, you understand a little bit better why you feel lighter in your feet. So stay around, check me out, next video, why it's important for you to do it too, and I'll be pulling up some cards, cause you know, that's why not.